Ugh, great. I told myself I would never do this again, but I'm doing it anyways. Anywho, what's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. And yes, in our last episode, we caught ourselves Gaia number two, a male version, might I add, you know? Pretty badass Pokemon, and yes, I am intending to evolve it into a Gallade later on. What else did we do? Oh yeah, we battled a lot of people, denied this guy, and yes, he wants us to go to the contest hall. He wants to escort us there, so I'm going to say yes. Let's do this. Let's go to the contest hall because why not? I don't want to be an asshole, which I, in real life, if you guys know me, kind of am. But it is what it is. Yes, on the bottom of the screen right here, it does say Tour of Heart Home City. Sorry guys, kind of wanted to make it a little uh, interesting what we're getting at. I don't really want to go to the gym just yet. Plus, if we want to go to the gym, we got to go here. And, uh, mom? Oh, shit. It's mom. Huh. So, uh, I guess my mom, his name is Joanna, and I guess she was a contest star right here. Huh. And the lady that bumped into us in the last episode, yes, uh, her name is Kiara, and she gives us a glitter powder, which is also cool, I guess. I don't even know. It's, uh, Wow, I don't really want to follow in your steps, Mama, but shoot. Making it so hard to because you're my mama. And I'm a big mama's boy, guys. In real life, big mama's boy. Love my mom. Really do. I'm not going to be like Mr. T in the WWE uh, Hall of Fame. I'm just going to say I love my mama. And uh, yeah, she's telling me that if you want to win the contest, got to dress up your Pokemon. So she gives us a tuxedo, which is cool. And uh, the charms and everything. She's telling me about the ins and outs and all that stuff. Now, the main thing, the main reason why we're here is not to check out the contest. Um, yeah, we need a puffin case for that too. We are here to talk to the lady right here. Would you look at that? It is Fantina, the uh, gym leader of Heart Home City. And uh, yeah, she's, she also loves the contest. And she's also French. In some way, but if you guys want to be a little more technical, she is from the Kalos region, I want to say. Maybe. I don't know. Kalos is probably French in some reason. I don't want to panic right now, guys. But yes, that's the main reason. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a small tour of this whole place right here. Um, yeah. What am I going to talk about? Uh, let's go in here, I guess. Uh, there's something that goes on right here. Now, I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And I believe this clown to my left, you can actually battle him. Uh, there's going to be quite a few clowns around different kinds of uh, uh, Pokemon centers, and you can actually battle him for extra experience points right here. I think I will battle him. We'll see. Let's figure it out. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, yes. He wants to, he wants to have fun. So we're going to be battling right now. So you see, guys, it's not completely boring. I'm going to give you something. Of course, he has Mime Jr., and I got Gaia number two. Pretty cool. Anywho, guys, I'm going to take the time to let you guys know that, hey, you know, uh, I'm going back to my regular schedule, which is an episode a day. I'm pretty sure many of you guys are happy for that. Reason why I haven't been uh, uploading uh, Pokemon Platinum like I should, it's mainly because, oh, crud, I've been super busy. Super busy with life, with work, and coaching. For those who don't know, yes, I am also a real life personal trainer and real life football coach so that takes a lot of uh, a lot of effort lots and lots of effort guys and I do apologize if I haven't been uploading like I should have but you know I've I've uh, recently re uh, recorded about up to episode 50 so we'll be okay guys we will be okay I already know the outcomes of many things but I'll be okay now if you talk to this lady right here she is the lady that actually uh, made the PC right here in Sinnoh. Her name is BB. Now, there is one more thing that she does have. She does have a Pokemon named Eevee. The only thing is that we don't have space for it. And, you know, I've been thinking long and hard. It was a... Wow, it, it, was, it was actually a big nail-biter because, you know, if you get an Eevee, you probably get a Thunderstone early on into this game right here. I'm pretty sure of it. But I kind of wanted to stick to my guns. I already have a, a team plan for this. So I'm just going to get that Eevee and I'm just going to put it in the PC. I know I could have used the, I could have used it for a Jolteon. Hell, I could have evolved it into one of the two new evolutions in this game, which would be a Leafeon or Glaceon. But it doesn't really, it doesn't really fit into my team in, so, in such a way. 
if I was to evolve this Eevee that I have right now, it would be into a Jolteon, mainly because, uh, yeah. Yeah, mainly because I need an Electric-type Pokemon, and I actually do like Electric-type Pokemon. But, eh, I, 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 I have Gyarados for that. It, it, it's capable of learning uh, Electric-type moves. So, I'm just going to keep that space open for another Pokemon, which we will be seeing later on uh, in the next few episodes. Um, as you can see, I do have quite a few Pokemon right now. I, I did capture a Rotom, so uh, the, the episode is right there in my channel somewhere. I don't even know. But yes, I'm going to go back to uh, Bidoof. I'm not going to keep him on my team. He's just, you know, an HM slave for the best. And uh, let's see. Oh, damn. She wants to get married. This guy. Uh, rarities and live for. Hmm. Find something rare for you to talk to me sometime. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, so Firestone, a Pokemon evolved. Okay, so we're going into the church right here and it's very, very quiet. Now, if we're here, you can see the picture up there. It's telling us that, you know, Mount Coronet was the beginning of places. These Pokemon people tell us about, you know, different kinds of cycles, whatever. I'm talking out of my ass. Why am I whispering? This guy's telling me about nature, his father, his son. It's religious. I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about right here in Heart Home City. It's just the beginning of, you know, the legends of Pokemon and all that stuff. Because it does reveal that, you know, there is an, a god Pokemon out there being Arceus. Now, if you go right here, you can actually make Poffins for uh, your Pokemon. The only thing is, I don't think I have a Poffin case, uh, case right here. And Poffins are pretty much used as berries, like in, uh, in, in the Hoenn region, to make their beauty, stat, cool stat, whatever, uh, better. And, uh, yeah, that was hilarious how I was, uh, I was just whispering. I was just talking out of my ass, guys. I really was. Sorry about that. Now, here we are with an interview with this lady right here. And I'm just going to put uh, whatever, whatever I have. Um, let's see. Coolness. Yes, I'm going to describe Mike Raltz as coolness because... I guess there is, I guess it's coolness. I don't even know. I don't even know. And uh, here we have the president of the, or the chairman of the Pokemon fan club of Sinnoh. And I guess he wants to talk about his poffins and all the poffins that Pokemon love to eat. Uh, I think he's, yeah, describing the different types of poffins that you get. And yes, he does give us a poffin case, which now allows us to, you know, make poffins out of berries or yeah and you know go into the pokemon contests which we may or may not go i don't know i'm still very very on the fence of it i i still need to do hoenn you know still need to get around to that which i will guys don't worry about me i will eventually get to it i promise i really do anywho moving on right here going into the place and uh talking to this lady right here pokemon all over the world they come into contests right here so this place is very, very big for contests, and I, yeah, I really don't care. I really don't. So I'm going to just try and find some other items that, you know, you can normally find right here. Hopefully we'll find something. Anything. Maybe. I don't know. We found a popping case. We found a popping case. So talk to this guy. He gives us a shell bell, which will, uh, let's see, shell bell heals our Pokemon, right? It does. Or it's the other thing around. Could be wrong. Yeah, I, 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 I could be wrong right now. I don't even know. Comment down. To, uh, give me, comment on the description, guys. Comments on the description. Alrighty. Moving on forward right here. And uh, let's see. What is next? What is next right here? Oh, yes. The Pokemon Gym is right here. And uh, we've already talked to Fantina. So we can actually go in there if we wanted to. Uh, my suggestion would be train just a little harder because Fantina's Pokemon are pretty strong, especially one of those Pokemon that you guys will eventually see kind of bugs the crud out of me. It really does. And, uh, let's see. Anybody else right here? Nope. Nothing. They just want to be Pokemon coordinators. For me, I just want to be the awesome the awesome person of a Pokemon master, you know? Because I am a Pokemon master. Am I right? Am I right? I am very, very right. Okay. So let's move on right here. I think somebody has an item right here. A special item that I need. No, they're talking about grown-ups. Talking about Grandpa. Wow, he's old, but this is his Grandpa. He's still living. Holy crud. Good for him. 
he's seen stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's move on right here. Moving down. I think that's everything. Now, the only place that we need to go to is, uh... Yeah, I think we have to go into the field. The field right here. Let's see. Okay. What, what am I looking at? Seriously. Sometimes when I'm recording, I really don't pay attention. I'm usually watching a show while playing this game. Yes. I am a huge multitasker. Do not judge me. So... I'm going to switch out my Pokemon, and this place right here, the Amity Square, you can actually use one Pokemon to walk around with. Now, let's see, yeah, large Pokemon are not allowed to be uh, walked around because I guess they're large. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, you can stroll around with one key Pokemon, and the only Pokemon I can use is Donatello. And, uh, well, we walk around, it'll make your Pokemon a little bit happy. I believe they will be able to actually grab items if uh, you know you're just walking around. Now here are these areas right here. It will transport you to different locations, and you'll be able to find some rare items like an amulet coin, which is also good. And then uh, let's see, yeah, that that right there is a little different right there. So if we go here, this will transport us all the way back to wow, the same place. I. To be honest with you guys, I really don't get the, uh, I really don't get it with these, uh, those little towers. So if you guys could help me out, comment down below. Uh, you know, that would be great. Or shit, I'll even go on Bulbapedia if I need to. But I'm gonna go to the other side. That way we can get some more items right there. So we're not completely done with this place right now. Um, let's see. Nothing, nothing right there. Right here. Going back to the Amity Square. And, uh, let's see. Pikachus and Light. Oh, yeah. They love, they love walking in this place right here. So, we're going to do this again. Donatello is our only Pokemon that can actually go through here. I don't know why. Probably because it's cute. Not really that cute, man. I got, I got a Ralt. It's cute. A Bidoof. He's cute. His tooth is cute. And, uh, well, like, there's an item right there. Now, I'm going to see if there's some hidden items right here. Because if there isn't, then... Huh. No, there's nothing. And, well, let's see. The ruins are there from long, long time ago, and uh, there's nothing right here. I don't think we could surf right there. And then here we have the TM-43 secret power, which is also great. And uh, let's see. Anything else right there? No? Talk to this guy? Hmm, believe it or not, my Pikachu jumps. His hesitation and all that stuff, which is cool, cool, cool. And uh, here's another tower that we need to go to. Hopefully, you know, it sends us somewhere again. Really don't know the, dy the the dynamic of this place, and here we have the TM45 attract, which is also also a very good move. And uh, huh, well that's a big letdown. That is a huge letdown. Now there's two other. I, I want to say there are two other towers right here that we can go to, but I, again I don't really know the dynamic. Now if you go straight. It'll take you back here, but I think you can, let's see, you can move around. You can go left or right. It might take you somewhere. And, uh, no, it's taking you to the same places. Huh. Really don't get it. So, again, comment down below, guys. To let me know what the dynamic of this whole thing is. That way I can actually showcase it right here on my channel. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm going around in circles really don't know and you know what I don't care it's time for me to leave so that's pretty much it of heart home city um, I think in the next episode we will be battling Fantina for our next badge it's been a while since we have a, a we've had a gym battle so yeah stay tuned guys in the next episode we will be back for another episode of this